Well, it's a local nonprofit organization that trains service dogs for kids with autism and other developmental disabilities. We're pleased to be joined this morning by Project Chance founder and trainer, BJ Swadzinski, as well as Melissa Cook. And ladies, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, BJ, I'm going to start with you on just this. What led you to begin this program? I had been a special ed teacher, and I also was an animal control for many, many years. I moved to Jacksonville in 1993 and saw a need in the rise in the statistics in autism. And I just felt like my background and resume, if I combined dogs and uh, my mental health and special ed degree, I could do something for the community. It, it sounds very worthwhile. Uh, Melissa, Project Chance is a Tegna Foundation grant recipient. Yes. So uh, our station and the company that owns our station are supporting your mm -hmm. program as well. But for people who don't know a whole lot about you guys, how will that money help sponsor what you guys are doing within the community? Absolutely. Um, so right here we have Perkins and Raven, and these are five-month-old service dogs in training. They actually are the recipients of the Tegna Foundation grant. And that grant is kind of part of their puppy starter kit. It helps with their vet fees for this first year, their food, and some of their training as well as their vest that they're wearing. Now, these both are already paired with two five-year-old children, separate children, separate families, and they will train and be tailored to meet their needs to help improve the quality of life of the child and the family. Autism is a spectrum. It can be very different. They may be nonverbal. They may be highly verbal with social issues. It can really vary. The dogs can help as a balance and sort of be a center for the child and the family. They can help with balancing if they have walk is issues with walking. We do have some with cerebral palsy that have a dog and it helps as a counterbalance. If your child is a runner, which can happen, they will circle the dog and bark so that the child can't get away from you and alert you that something is wrong. If your child is prone to self-harm, which unfortunately can happen with children on the spectrum, the dog will actually put their paws on top of the child and compress it like a hug and bring them down so that they're no longer hurting themselves and bring them back to their baseline. So they kind of become a little bit of the north on their compass. They help keep them um, centered and balanced. Uh, BJ, <clears throat> through the years, how many dogs have you trained for this program? We've got over 90 dogs for service dogs for kids. We started in 2008, and then we have seven or eight dogs in school campuses. Very cool. And then, uh, Melissa, it, I'm sure you guys can't go with every kid 24-7. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. the dogs go in their yes. care. How involved are the kids with the training so they become accustomed to having a service dog? Incredibly involved. The training is tailored to the child and the family, and they will begin working with their dog when their dog is about 10 weeks old. The child will start visiting and getting to know the personality of the child and the dog together and what specifically they need, what can work with them. But they go through a training, and probably about 10 months old is when the dogs will start doing some sleepovers and training with their family and going there so that they understand the purpose of the dog. It's not just a pet, it is a service dog. Um, but we tailor it to each child, and it actually lasts for the lifetime of the dog. So with each family, as the child grows and changes and may encounter new challenges, we will get with them and do different training to help the dog grow with the child and improve. BJ, yes, what sir. improvement have you seen from the kids who utilize this program? Uh, communication skills, uh, lessons anxiety. Uh, they can go to places where there were a lot of noise and a lot of uh, uh, sen sensory things where the kids normally wouldn't be able to go. And the dog helps them to be comforted and to, uh, we train so that the child is a leader of their dog. Mm -hmm. It's not just a hold on to the dog, you sure. know? So we train so that even five-year-olds, as the dogs get older and are well-trained in, in an enclosed area, a five, six, seven-year-old can take their own dog into a place so that we really, uh, self-development, leadership, we really focus on that so the child can use those skills once they become older and once they get out of the community. So uh, the improvement would be being able to be self-reliant and independent. Wonderful. And Melissa, I only have a few yes, seconds left. Of course. For parents interested in this program mm -hmm. for their children, how can they reach out to you? Info at projectchance.com. You can email us for information. We have a website, projectchance.com. You can donate, contact us. We are a resource for 
um, autism needs throughout and also the process of a dog and we are looking for corporate sponsorships. Well, wonderful. We will have that contact information within this story on our website very shortly. BJ and Melissa, thank you so much for coming. Thank in you this very morning. much. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you for us. Thank you for the invitation. We're back right after this.